no one likes to balance their checkbook, and no one likes to reconcile their business accounts. One way to make reconciling much less painful, connect your bank accounts to QuickBooks. Categorize transactions as they come in through the month. Then, at the end of the month, instead of spending hours reconciling, you can spend a minute or two looking at your accounts and you'll be done. Whether you connect your bank accounts or do it the old-fashioned way, here's how you reconcile an account. Get out your bank statement for this account. In QuickBooks, click the gear menu and choose Reconcile. Choose the account you're reconciling and click Reconcile Now. Add the statement end date and the ending balance from your statement. Now the work begins. Match each expense on your statement with an expense in the checks and payments. When the expense matches, tick the box beside it. Important safety tip. Only click on the little checkbox. If you click anywhere else, other windows open and it can be hard to find your way back to the reconcile window. Check off each transaction. When you're finished, the difference at the bottom of the reconcile screen should be zero dollars. But all too often, it's not. Which leads to the hard part, figuring out where the problem is. Bank service charges, checks not yet cleared, or transactions posted that aren't in QuickBooks yet are all common culprits. But if your bank account is connected to QuickBooks, your transactions get downloaded nightly, so service charges and ATM transactions will already be there. When you've got that difference value to zero, click Finish Now. Click the reconciliation you just did to open its report. Print the report and attach it to your bank statement. Your accountant will be thrilled and you'll have a record you can use at tax time. Now it's your turn. Grab your bank statement and start reconciling an account.